it, it, it kind of depends. It, it, it depends on who asked it, whether or not related to him. So. Hiding somewhere? Not, I'm 
talk loud enough everybody can hear me. What? Oh, you're going to be That's never been yeah, a problem. I didn't think it was. <laughs> I really, she said, you need a microphone? No, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, you guys good? Okay. You good? All right, there. thanks everybody for showing up. I know it's kind of worried about you out when you keep your car under cover. Even stinks you out. But, a little background when I started on Street Outlaws, Street Group, Car Rough 4 6, like nobody on that list read that. But by the time I got that figured out, had to get it down the street, everybody was already running fast. That list of balls so fast that everybody said, oh, why do you guys keep doing all this? You've got to try to stay on that list and stay up with it. So, for the first time, I built a car purposely built to try to maintain that list. The reaper got to the point where the motor makes so much power that you just can't make the car work. So, all my sponsors, they can't. Y'all like, come on here. You're supposed to be over here. All the guys that have helped, like, all these guys you guys see standing here, Roadrunner, the chassis engineering, uh, Total Seal, no matter whether I was winning or losing, they stood behind me. So we got together, we built a car. It's, uh, it's unlike anything anybody's ever tried. Travis Quillen has came up with a new mechanical fuel injection. It's all mechanical, but all you control by a Holly ECU. Got to try to figure that out, Ted. It's super cool to eat. Uh, the motor's a five-inch four space, Rodex 632. Uh, Got a 143 Pro Charger. And like I said, all these guys have all stood and helped. Whether out won or lost, they stood there. So I want to thank all you guys for everything you've done. Appreciate it. Because without them, this don't work. Now, Troy Green, my engine builder, he's hiding back there in the back. Trying to hide from everybody. But like I said, I appreciate all you guys coming out. We've got a brand new show, a new series that we're doing at the racetrack with no preps. And we've got Edinburgh, which is going to be the last time that I'm going to bring it. And we're bringing this car on to the new show. And I'm bringing it to the list on the when we start shooting season 11. So I guess you guys are tired of hearing me around my mouth. Where's Chris at? I don't even know how he's got this thing strapped down. Yeah, it's ready. Oh, it's ready? Yeah, yeah, it's ready. All the straps are off. You guys all want to see this thing? Yeah. 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 Starting from front. Now, it is not Reaper. The name of the car. On the hood, and I'll show you guys what the name is, and I'll say Chris, Brother Chris. Another person is busting his butt and has to put up with my crap, but every time the car does, I change it, he has to do something about it. We filmed building this car in season 10. I don't know how much they're going to use it. Uh, the rules of, of, of the list, as everybody knows, I was building this car before the Pro Mod. It is an all carbon fiber car. When I pulled all the Pro Mods, I said, well, the car's done. And then the more I thought about it, thought, you know what, i got to use these rules that nobody's ever told me. You guys have all heard me say, tell me the rules. The one rule they've always said, steel roof, steel quarter. So I put steel roof, quarters, and it started, the only thing left was the 69 Camaro for dash, but I took their rules and I stretched them way, way thin. Matter of fact, they're so thin you can't even see the line. They never even knew I was building this car. Nobody has seen this car except when we had it in Bristol when we were trying to figure it out. Who's got the Allen? You got it? Come on, Travis, get up there. Get up there. Don't leave me. Travis Quillen. <laughs> done this. Stupid cool. Fuel injection. The name of the car, by the way, is D's Nuts. So you do not want to get outrun by these nuts because you know every one of those nuts is going to have fun with that. Chief just got outrun by these nuts. <laughs> We're waiting in line for these nuts. And it says, 
Has anybody seen these nuts? <laughs> and we we everybody said we're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> and in actuality, if you look on the side of the car, it's an insane silo. Chris, where's Chris at? The guy that helps me. Come up here. I cannot say his last name, but this is the guy that helps me. And we designed all of these cars. It's his sick, twisted head. He gets it started. I give him some ideas of how I want it to look, and he pulls it off. It is a pro charge car. Nice. Everybody thinks I switched to pro charger. I've actually been a pro charger dealer for 15 years. I still got a D3, one of my first pro chargers. Says don't start before you check the valve. We're actually going to be dying on with the max traps. Tell these guys about this fuel injection once you come out. Old school fuel injection, you go by the hot and get the best of both. You get the simplicity without all the problems, and just kind of go with the other hot and get when you're doing this, you got to get the other one. I'm going to get away with it. 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 Nobody, no matter how hard you work, 
it'd be impossible to start trying to stay out of this all this stuff. Yeah. Just going to the next level, the next level. I told Travis that a lot of the guys, Sergio from Pro Charger, when, when they came down, I told them, I don't want to keep going one level at a time. I want to jump way up here. I feel like we've done it. I feel like we've done it. It's, uh, you know, I had a tough time with Monty fast, but uh, I don't think you know, Monty was not going fast. He was blown out for a guy. A lot of guys don't know that. But Monty's blown out for a guy before he was a Nike guy. So and he knew about this car, and I told him what I was doing. So that's what we plan on doing. If you guys got any questions? As I said, everybody, it still has a nitrous bottle in it. I said that I would, every car I had would ever have a nitrous bottle. One thing Travis and I thought about was on that nitrous bottle. So that nitrous bottle is going in there. He had not seen. I'm going to sneak a purge on him when he's not looking. <laughs> But that's it, guys. And when you step back and you see the stuff on the side of it, like I said, it's actually an insane asylum. Uh, up here on the front, if you'll notice, there's a, uh, there's a glow. This crazy looking girl that Chris used to date, I guess. Is this the choke list back here? Huh? Is this the choke list back here? That is it. That's where the names go. There are no tombstones on this one. But there is a morgue on the back. <laughs> and even though I have not had ran him, uh, I'm calling Doc out. He's the first off the track for all the crowd race. He's going to be the first one that goes in there. We'll see, we'll see who chokes. So, I try, I didn't want... Actually, the production, the production hadn't seen this either. But the deal was for me to film the car. The first time I did it, it's going to be a Yanko club. I had artists with dancing done and the blown alcohol deal. And then they told me, well, so what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going to pull Reaper from the list and put this one on it. They said, is it going to say Reaper? I said, absolutely not. Yeah, yeah, we don't want you to do that. So they basically told me if I didn't put Reaper on it, they weren't going to film it. But they already filmed it before I did this one. So there is a Reaper on it. There's that Reaper kind of thing, but the car's called these nuts. You look over here, he's holding it. So, actually, Travis came up with the name. Other than your mom, you struggled to come up with a car name that, that beats your mom. I can't wait to be right. Think about that. There's nuts in your bones. So, when he first said the name, I, I just like, ah. And the more I thought about it, I was like, there's no way that every announcer isn't gonna that that announcer's gonna wear somebody out. I mean, how how would you like to get beat by these guys? <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Travis, you well, I, I have a feeling that all the guys are gonna have a lot of fun with all the commentary about it. So I don't know if there's ever gonna be a better car name. That's that car that right lane guys that's a pretty big car. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be a pretty interesting, it's going to be an interesting year. Also in the globe, on the hand, and this is no disrespect, but every, every car on the list is in that globe. That's not disrespecting, that's because that's the list. That's everybody on the list, and that was meant because we're... Everybody, we do fight, guys. Everybody, the biggest question everybody asks is how much of it's real. Is that stage when you guys get into it? When you put that much testosterone, that much power, and the more getting number of points, it's going to be common. People are going to get mad. But as anybody that's ever came to race us as 205, when we're racing together, we're like a sibling rival. You know, you can fight with your brother, but anybody else come to fight with your brother? That's why it's a team 405 that's going to be. Because it's actually up to the lights together. We hate each other. We all come together. We try to help each other as much as possible. Some of us do, some of us don't. But when we come together as a team, it's an unbeatable team. So, yeah, all that stuff's real. But you guys never see that when we're coming to get somebody else. So, this is my new car for the list.
got any, anybody got any questions? Got a, it's got a Blake. Actually, the rear that was in it was a Dana 60. I'm called Blake. I said, I'm going to break this Dana 60. So he built a 90 inch board. It's, uh, it's one of his custom pro mine. I don't think it's ultimate heavy duty. Yeah, that's the We're going to start testing the car. It leaves here. Travis has got a little bit of wine left to do on it. Because the car was actually running. We put it on the dyno. It went to Travis's. Where Travis go? I'm right here. Get back up here, Travis. It went to Travis. In case you guys don't know Travis Quillen, it went to Travis's and he was going to rewire the car. And then wire it differently. A week later, he sent me a picture of Holby inside the park. Change one thing, I take five minutes. Oh no, he started cutting bars out of it and he didn't stop. So, I, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I, wasn't like I, wasn't done. I told him, he goes, listen, and everything that he did to the car was for my sake. Like he said, he said, you know, you say everybody, nobody loves James like James, loves James, 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 James. So when he sent me pictures, I'm glad he, I, he wasn't saying there because I looked at him and said, what do you do to my car? No, I told, I told Travis, Travis agreed to come with me to race this car. I told him, whatever you want to do that makes you happy. Everything that he did, cut the whole inside the car out and changed everything up, was 100% for my sake. So you can't argue with that. Because nobody does other things like that, those guys. So, I, except somebody better start loving Chad because he's been kind of dying already. <laughs> I got me a great big tire. You got me, you got to have him a little bit. So, hopefully, it's going to be the first car to ever do all of it.
Yeah. Yeah. Uh,